my channel. This is a very impromptu solo book review. Now I don't know how many of these I'm going to do because usually I don't have enough thoughts on a book to warrant an entire solo review. But Melissa Broder, I'm talking about her newest release, Milk Fed. Have I worked out how to do this yet? Don't break my hat, please tell me I did. This is the author of The Pisces, which if you've read any review for or seen anyone read is notoriously known as the steamy merman book i read that book about two years ago now i believe and it still plays on my mind i gave it three stars but there was something so compelling about the writing that i knew if i saw the author had released anything else i was going to read it now i'm not going to go into that what the pisces was about i wrote an entire blog post about it so i'll link that down below if you're interested but basically it's about a young woman who's having a solo breakdown thing. <laughs> That's the worst explanation ever. Oh. It's about a young woman who is going through difficulties in life and she's falling apart. So she agrees to house at her sister's place in Miami, I believe, or LA. I think it's Miami. And she's going to take care of the woman's dog and she meets a merman and they have a lot of weird kinky sex, sometimes involving menstrual blood licking. Weird, I know. And the only reason I wanted to DNF that book at multiple points was the animal abuse. It really bothered me. And I even had nightmares around it. It was just terrible. So if that's something that you can't read, I would not recommend that book. But The Pisces was a very addictive read and it plays on your mind a lot not necessarily for the right reasons, but it's so twisty and dark comedy that it just glues itself onto your brain and doesn't let go. So I'm a part of the Libro Influencer program thing, which is Libro FM, I'll link it down below. But if you have over a thousand followers on any platform, you can apply to for their monthly scheme where they offer you multiple audiobooks and you can download as many as you want with the agreement that you'll review them somewhere. And I saw that Melissa Broder's new book, Milk Fed, was on it. So I was like, yeah, I'm down. Didn't look up what it was about. Didn't read any reviews, just went in blind. And boy, an experience. So this is about a 20 something year old woman named Rachel. And at the opening of the novel, she's in her therapy session, talking about her many, 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 many problems. Now, she is Jewish but doesn't follow the faith and her mother is the worst human being in existence and she's very she's very much a bad influence in Rachel's life. Rachel has a lot of eating issues which I'm going to say it now so you can click off if you know you're not going to read this book based on this but this book has a lot of fat phobia a lot of conversation around eating disorders and starving yourself and bulimia and everything. So if that's triggering for you, don't read this book. I didn't know that going in and I personally have eating problems and it was very triggering. The only thing that kept me going was the fact that I knew I wanted to write a review. So if that's something you can't handle, I wouldn't recommend this. So Animal Beast for the first book, eating problems with the second, wouldn't recommend, especially fat phobia. That's a very common thing in this book and that was very bothersome but it's also the main plot in a sense so it's hard to dismiss the book for that if that makes sense so the therapist recommends that Rachel has a detox from her mother like I think it's for 30 days I believe but no contact no phone calls nothing because once Rachel's getting good her mum kind of knocks her back down so Rachel agrees and then she ends up meeting a woman called Miriam who works at a yogurt shop. And Miriam is Jewish, follows the faith and is plus size. And they slowly begin a romantic relationship. <sighs> now, this book had the same qualities as the Pisces in the sense that you can't put it down. It's very addictive, even though you wanna strangle all of the characters. They are also problematic that it's, almost a hard read for that alone. But there's something about Melissa Broder's writing that is very good. It has a very well written style of the modern day world with young women, if that makes sense. 
I could sometimes see myself in Rachel, which wasn't a nice experience at all. But I feel like the author, instead of doing a morally grey character, she goes more on the grey side of things. But it is a very real portrayal of what some women feel in their 20s. And I think that's the aspect of her writing I enjoy. I feel like if she keeps writing novels, she's going to end up getting one that goes places. So I am going to keep up with her writing. But some scenes in this thing are very questionable. Rachel has this colleague at work who is a, another woman, older, and it's kind of her the mother she wished she had. And so many times in this book, she's fantasizing about that woman, her colleague, breastfeeding her in a sexual act. And that just left me very confused. Yes, it makes the title of the book make sense, but I didn't necessarily need to read that in my lifetime. And now I have. And I've read some weird fan fiction, but this really takes the cake. This makes the Moon Man book not seem that odd. You know, I mean, I'm sure some people have fantasies about Aquaman, maybe. I don't see it, but maybe. But yeah, that left me questioning what I was reading. And the ending, okay, this is the part that leaves me torn on whether I enjoyed the book. It was very abrupt, but not in the way of an open ending. It was a very closed ending, but the last 20 pages, everything changed and then ended. And not in a, oh, we're gonna, like something drastically has changed in my life. It was just kind of, that happened, done. And that felt odd. I feel like it needs maybe 50 more pages, which do I really want to read 50 more pages of possibly sexual breastfeeding? No. But would it add to the character development? Yes. And I wish we had more of her mum because the mum was really effed up in so many ways. And the things she would do to Rachel just left me seething inside for this character that I also hated. It was very... The entire book leaves you very conflicted with your emotions and I think that's clever writing. If a book can not make you know what you're feeling and not necessarily in a like playing with your emotions way, it's more just you can argue both sides on why this should be a one star book or a five star book and I think that's clever. I haven't read many books like that and this author has done that to me twice. So if this book has been on your radar at all, this is kind of the general gist. I think the author does what she does very well. And though her books aren't my favourites, they're definitely ones that stick with me longer than some books I give five stars. Which makes me sometimes question my rating system because does that warrant a five star rating if I'm still thinking about it over a year later on a regular basis? So yeah, if this book's been on your radar, then let me know if this pushed you to pick it up or not pick it up. And just remember the trigger warnings for fat phobia and the eating disorder mayhem that was sprinkled throughout this book. And also notes on depression, but I have read more triggering books with that. So if that's a triggering subject for you, it's not a heavy handed topic in the book. So I hope this was at all helpful and if you've read the Pisces, <laughs> we'll be scared for life together.